to just to show, show one of the things we're displaying here today at, at the event is um, IoT Predict um, from one of our, our partners, Action Point. Um, and what is this solution all about? It's, it's a solution um, we designed in conjunction with Action Point, Microsoft, and Intel. Um, so the, the idea behind it was in, in, in the whole world of, of industrial IoT and so on, one of the big areas of focus is predictive maintenance. Um, how, can you, how can you remotely monitor a machine in a factory, uh, an engine on a ship, whatever it might be, how can you get data from that and, and from that data be able to maybe predict when something's going to go wrong, um, how things are performing, uh, maybe how different types of machine perform in different environments, how different types of engine might perform in, in, in different types of, of ships and so on. So one of the things when we were, were designing um, this solution with our partners was to have something that was very easy to use out of the box. So one of the biggest challenges in the whole IoT world is interoperability. There's a million and one companies that develop sensors, there's a million and one companies that develop software, there's a million and one companies that develop hardware. And how getting all those to work together is, is one of the biggest challenges the industry faces. So when designing this solution, the big the big goal we wanted we wanted to have um, was to have an out of the box solution. So that's why when 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 you see it there, it literally comes in a box. So the, the solution, all the software is pre-installed, all the sensors are pre-installed, everything's ready to go. So what's in the box? There's, there's our Gateway 3000 device. Um, that then on it has um, Action Point's IoT Predict software. And then we're using some industrial sensors from, from a company called IFM. So that the sensors it comes with, and again, a customer could add their own, but what comes out of the box? is a vibration sensor, a temperature sensor, and a power sensor. So the idea is that you can attach those three sensors to some piece of kit. It might be a, an engineering kit, um, it might be a machine, it might be an engine, but then you can now get data from that piece of equipment that you couldn't get before. So it could be a 50-year-old machine in a factory, and then you, you put on the power clamp, you can see how much power it's using. You put on the temperature, you see what temperature it operates at. And you put on the vibration sensor. And again, when you attach those, you can then start to build up a profile of what normal looks like. So I can now see my machine normally operates between 25 and 28 degrees. It uses X, X watts of power, X amount of, of, of power. And um, the vibration profile is this. And then you could start to do things with a solution like this where it sets up alerts. If the temperature goes above the norm, I want to get a notification on my phone or I want, I want it to automatically create a, a job requisition on my ERP system to send an engineer out to, to look at it. Um, so again, all those, those type, of things, type of things are possible. And again, the big thing with this solution is, is that a customer can literally get it in the box, have it set up and running, have live data in Microsoft Azure within about an hour, um, which is kind of unheard of in, in, in the IoT business. It's, it's usually will take an awful lot longer to, uh, to implement a solution like that. Um, types of customers who are buying this, huge amount of customers have heard about IoT, what's it all about, how do I get my things online, you know, what are the possibilities? Customers are buying a, a, a kit like this because it's 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 self-contained. It's not it's not for, it's not expensive, um, and they can get it up and running very quickly and start to see how the whole world of IoT could benefit them, benefit their customers, their business, and so on. The, from the perspective of you know small, medium-sized businesses getting into IoT, where do you start? What do you look at? And um, the one thing where you know, we've seen successes with, with, with customers and our partners who are working with customers is don't try and boil the ocean on day one. Start out with something small, um, something like the IoT Predict kit there. Start out with a small project that will then allow you to sort of understand the concepts and um, start to get some, some, some data back quickly, start to be able to do some analytics, start to see the, the benefits and so on, and then look to expand upon that. Don't try and go and digitize the whole factory on, 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 on day one. Start out, start out somewhere small. And again, we, 
has Dell, we, we, we would have a, a, a lot of partners um, in that space who can work with, with you know, the small and um, medium-sized customers to, to get things up and running. So, for example, the small, medium-sized customers might, might work with a partner like Action Point. For larger size manufacturing customers who, who are doing those bigger size projects, um, a company um, like, like Software AG, another one of our, our, our big partners on the stand here with us, um, you know, they might, might look like, at, at someone like them for the, the, the larger size projects. Um, to kind of explain a little bit on where Dell is coming from in this space, um, a lot of people may not associate Dell in, 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 in this space, but um, we've been active in it for a long time now. Um, our IoT business sits within Dell OEM. Um, Dell OEM is a, is a division within Dell that's been running for many, many years. And what Dell OEM does is we, we work with customers to help them put our technology into their product. So it might be a company making medical machines where they embed some of our technology in, in, inside it. It might be a, a company doing building automation, again, solutions where they're embedding our technology inside it. So that's what our OEM business is all about. And that's where our IoT Edge business um, that my team work in, that's, that's where we sit. And we work with our, with our OEM partners, with our Cordell colleagues, across a whole range um, of, 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 of different solutions in the sort of industry 4.0, manufacturing, energy, smart building, smart vehicle um, areas. Um, very exciting division for us. Um, it's grown a lot over the last sort of three, three years since we, three to four years since we, we set up. And um, it's great, we're starting to, we're, we're, we're now starting to be recognized um, a lot more um, in the space. And, and we're seeing indeed many of our, our traditional IT customers, the operations side of their business are coming to us um, for advice on, on, on things like you know, ma manufacturing 4.0, digital transformation, what's it all about, how do we get started. Um, and I suppose the, la the, the last thing to mention, one of the, one of the biggest reasons we've, be, we've seen success is as well as developing the products like our, our, our edge gateway devices, our industrial com computers that you can see on the stand here, we also put a huge investment into our partner ecosystem. So we realized Dell cannot be the expert in everything from smart building, smart manufacturing, um, all those d d d different areas. So we've built out a whole partner ecosystem of very specialized partners who have many years experience in these areas and now use our technology to roll out their solutions um, in the marketplace. And again, that's one of the big reasons we're seeing um, such good traction um, in the space. and. Um, We'll continue to do so going forward.